Hey everyone, with the release of AVM7, there is a new feature where unfunded accounts can now issue transactions so long their fees are covered by another transaction in the group. There are several use cases to this, so if you take a look at this article written by Jason, there are a few use cases such as uh, your unfunded account can interact with a DApp if it's bundled with another transaction that's paying the fees. Also, smart contracts itself, usually you will need algos to issue inner transactions. And then what you will do is you will transfer algos to the smart contract in order for it to be able to issue transactions. However, now you can actually call the smart contract with additional fees so that it covers the inner transactions called by the smart contract. Okay, so over here, I would like to run a small demo. So in this demo, what I'll be doing is I'll be deploying a simple counter app and then I'll create a standalone account that has uh, zero algos. And then I'll perform two transactions. First is an app call to the deployed app using the standalone account. And then we have a second transaction, which is a payment transaction. So this payment transaction, we will have additional fees so that you will cover the transaction fees uh, incurred by the first transaction. So now we'll take a look at the demo. Okay, so over at the demo, I have a stateful smart contract. So this is basically a counter application. We have the approval and clear state files. And then over at the main.js, so we have some helper functions to submit transactions to the network. The transfer algo transaction, and then over here is uh, the functions needed to deploy the application. Right, so what you're going to do is uh, we're going to deploy the application, and after which we're going to call the application. Okay, another helper function to read the global state of the stateful contract. Okay, so over at the, this is the main script. Okay, so we're going to deploy the counter application first, after which we're going to create an account with zero algos. And then we're going to use this account to call the, the application. So as you can see, it's, we create an app call transaction and we set the fees to zero. And then we have a second transaction, which is basically a transfer algo from one account to the other. And then for this transaction, we are doubling the fees so that it covers the transaction fees for the first transaction. And as you recall, all accounts need to have a minimum balance in order to send transactions. With AVM7, now actually you can have another transaction that can cover the transactions that send with an account with zero algos. Okay, so over here, we're going to group the transactions and we're going to submit to the network. And this should be able to submit to the network due to the upgrades to uh, AVM. Okay, so let's deploy the app and try to submit the transactions. So as you, can, as you can see, the transaction has been successfully submitted. And actually I did an app call to add a counter to the app. So the app call is successful. The counter is increased by one. Overall, the atomic transaction has been uh, successfully submitted. Just as a quick note, I'm doing this locally. So I'm communicating with the sandbox and my sandbox is actually running on the latest ABM. So as you can see, my AlgoD version right now is, uh, is the latest uh, 3.11. Right. 
right? Okay, so that concludes the quick demonstration on this uh, zero balance transaction feature from ABM7. Thank <laughs> you.